Hey, welcome back to TonerCentral.com's informative video series, and today we're talking about how a laser printer works. The first thing that happens is a laser unit fires a charged beam onto a mirror drawing the shape of the image. This mirror reflects the beam onto the OPC drum, which creates a negatively charged image on the drum unit. The drum then rotates past the toner hopper, attracting the positively charged toner particles as it passes. The paper is simultaneously fed under the drum and receives the positively charged toner particles. The paper and toner particles are then passed in between a ceramic fusing element, which melts the toner onto the paper as it exits the printer. Thanks for watching, and remember you can visit tonercentral.com for environmentally friendly remanufactured toner. This program contains experiments which are performed by professionals. These tests are dangerous and may involve the use of hazardous materials. They should not be performed or imitated under any circumstances. The laser printer. It turns digital documents into printed pages. Fast. But to find out how, we've got to bust this printer open. Inside the print cartridge, two main components, the drum and the toner hopper. When a print job starts, the drum begins to turn. It brushes against an electrically charged roller that coats the drum surface with negative charges of electricity. The drum has a light sensitive surface and as it turns, it gets hit by a pulsing laser beam. As the laser works line by line, zapping the drum one million times per second, it creates more and more neutral spaces until they form an image of the document right on the drum. Okay, but here's the thing. For that drum to print the image onto paper, it needs to fill those neutral spaces with toner. How does that happen? By stirring the toner inside the hopper. The toner is engineered so that the friction from the stirring generates static electricity. So how does that toner get to the drum? Well, just outside the hopper, there's a roller that gets covered with toner. As the drum turns past this roller, the toner has no choice. Since the toner carries a negative charge, it's attracted to the neutral spaces on the drum. At the same time, the toner is repelled by the negative charges that cover the rest of the drum. So the toner only sticks to the spaces hit by the laser. Now the toner forms a mirror image of the document on the surface of the drum. While all this is happening, the printer is charging a piece of paper with positive electric charges. The rolling drum carries its toner image down onto the paper. And this is the moment of truth. That greater force of attraction pulls the toner off the drum and onto the page. Now the image of that text is on paper. One last roller heats up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Its job, melt the toner permanently into the paper to create a printed page.